back to Vale. Team DMC was in a noodle shop with their parents. Eva, Dante eat more properly. Dante, sorry mom. Nero, man Dante, I've never seen you eat something other than pizza and strawberry sundaes. Eva, you what? Dante, thanks dad wait for throwing me under the bus. Sparta, hmm, I think I need to teach you some table etiquette. Then something on the teeth. He caught their attention as news of the Leviathan incident was circulating. Sparta, a Leviathan? I have never met one in person before. Dante, damn now that is one big boy. Kyrie, I hope the people of Argus are alright. Then an image of something small went near the Leviathan then bright lights of cuts and slashes appeared for a few moments then the Leviathan was defeated. Dante, hey I recognize that attack. Sparta, Virgil, Eva fainted seeing one of her children fighting a huge monstrosity. Sparta, Eva, Lady, looks like John has his work cut out for him when he gets back. Nero, hey look it's team our WBY on screen. Then the news went on the vital festival as the W of RWBY got roasted. Meanwhile, nearing Atlas, static, pilot, what the? John, is there a problem? Pilot, I'm getting something from the radio. Static. Mantle Civil Guard. This is Antle Civil Command. We, I repeat, are der attack. Pilot. Shit. John, take me there. Pilot. But what about your destination? John, it can wait. Now take me there. Meanwhile, Mantle Walls. Fiona, why are they attacking and why now? Nay, I don't know, but the Grim have been wilder than the usual. As they opened fire from the walls, then the dropship came and hovered above the battlefield. Nay, well, if isn't the mighty Atlas finally gracing us with its presence. Then someone jumped off it and lands in the middle of the pack. Fiona, what is he thinking? Nay, that guy is insane. Jumping in a Grim pack that large. John stood their eyes closed for a few seconds. And when he opened his eyes, the pack of fear wolves were torn to pieces as the others lacking and survival instincts leaps into the fray as Dark Slayer. John then began hacking and slashing away as he was cut off when shots hit the grim he was taking care of as he looks up to see the happy huntress's looks at him. Then the dropship lands to pick him up and heads towards Atlas. When they land it was particularly busy metropolis compared to Mistral and Vale. He then made his way through the bustling streets, not even catching attention to his hooded attire. He just looks around at the marvel of engineering, but that is all there is. John then took a sit in the plaza as he contemplates about everything he has seen in M.T. Glen, Vale, Mistral, and Argus. All it did was reaffirm his former beliefs as he was broken out of his thought as he heard a group of cheering people. The young man decides to investigate and he sees someone being the center of attention as the person in question was pure white from his skin to his expensive suit followed by a kid who looks and dresses just as extravagant. He just decides to pass by, but then a shout came from the crowd. White fan grunt. Die as C. Tenny. As he drew a gun and opens fire on the crowd. The man's personal robot guards shielded him as they tried to fire back as another grunt came in and threw a molotov destroying one of the AKs. The man not caring for the kid with him decides to duck and cover to save his own skin as more grunts emerged from the crowd and overwhelmed his personal guard, all the while hurting innocent civilians along the way creating a road of blood. John had enough as he began hearing screaming women and children around him as he charges the extremists. At the scene of the crime. A grunt came close with a gun at the ready. The man looks at the faunus in rage. Shock. Dio, you know who I am. WF grunt. You're a dead man. He aimed his gun square to his face, but before he pulled the trigger, something hits his gun as it no longer works, and a second later it splits into two pieces. WF grunt. What the? He then turns to see a gauntlet speeding towards his face like a freight train. The others looked at the newcomer. WF Grunt 2, get out of the way. He has to pay for his crimes. John, really? All I see are psychopaths attacking civilians. WF Grunt 3, then you shall die with these bastards. John then slices and dices, only destroying the weapons they carry as many fled while some stayed and fight. John, I suggest you surrender. WF Grunt 1, we will rather die than be taken prisoner by Atlas. 
He then charges, but John decided to grant this man his wishes as he stabs him clear in the chest, but the man was not finished. As he grabs Yamato's blade and pushes himself closer to John staring him in the eye, WF Grunt 1, you protect the wrong person. There, the monsters were just the result of their actions. As he draws his dying breathe, he reaches for John's face as he wiped his blood on him. John just looks down impassively as he looks to his hand covered in blood. Asterisk WF Grunt. You protect the wrong person. Asterisk. He then wipes his face as he heard a sneering voice behind him. Then the Atlassian army arrived to bring order to chaos. Shock. Such savages. Thank you, mysterious stranger. That would have been my end if it wasn't for you. He just wipes his face and swung Yamato to clean the blood off as he sheets it. He turned behind him to see the man and the boy behind him. Jacques. Jacques Schnee. A pleasure to meet you. Um, John. John Ark. Jacques. Mr. Ark, I would like to offer you my thanks and a reward is in order. Whitley. Why don't we invite him to dinner? Jacques. Why that would be the least we can do, but he needs a more fitting reward. He looks him up and down and disliked the cloak he was wearing as it appeared to have seen better days. Jacques, why don't we have you cleaned up first then get dinner? The three then makes their way past the nosy reporters as John hit his face. 